Hello, my name is Ms. Saldana, and today I'm going to be presenting on Nathaniel Turner, also known as Nat Turner. Nat Turner was an African-American slave in, 18, in the 1830s in the United States. I had the right to liberty or death. If I could not have one, I would have the other. This is a famous quote by the slave rebellions in the, during this time. A little bit about Nat Turner is that Nat Turner was an African-American slave, like I said before, who led a rebellion by black slaves in the South in Virginia of 18, in 1831. The rebellion killed about 65 rich plantation owners, including an infant young baby. The justification behind that being, who do you think these children are going to grow up to be? Nat Turner was a preacher, uh, so he was a priest who claimed uh, God told him to slay his enemies, his enemies being white slave owners originally contracted to control the slaves. So he was originally contracted by rich plantation owners to deal with uh, slaves that were already resisting slavery, that wouldn't do the work that, that were causing problems in the plantation. So Nat Turner was called to those plantations to teach them, the Bible wants them to be slaves, to teach them that God wants these slaves to obey their masters. So he was using the Bible to, um, to keep the slaves in line. However, the more he started to go to these plantations and seeing the horrible conditions and the horrors of slavery, he started to interpret the Bible differently. Uh, in one instance, what, one of the instances that helped him kind of reshape his thinking was in one of the plantations, the slaves were being force fed uh, food so that they could keep them alive. So these slaves, uh, these slave men decided to like, where they would rather die than continue to in slavery. So they were being, by their masters, being forced into these metal cages that opened their mouth, that forced them to eat rather than um, let them die by starvation. So this is one of the cases of seeing this horrible act being force fed and, and the cruelty that these young black slaves were, were enduring. That changed um, uh, Turner's mind on how, how slaves should react to slavery. So the fear caught, uh, even though this uh, rebellion was meant to help slaves, in reality, it really um, it caused more uh, more massacre towards the slave population. The fear caused by Nat Turner's caused the massacre of black people, um, in fear by whites that more rebellions would come. So what ended up happening after Nat Turner was captured and along with his people, and after they were murdered, they were themselves hanged. A lot of white people started to get even more strict with their slaves by forcing them by creating and passing more more horrific blacks, black slave code laws. In the end, the question remains is Nat Turner, should he be remembered as a hero or as a madman?